people out there, I move yeah. around a lot. So you're going to see me and then not see me. Okay? Cool. Alright. So, uh, all of a sudden, Jesus teaching all of these adults that came to see him was interrupted by all this noise, all this commotion. Children were skipping. Children were running. Children were laughing. Babies might have been laughing or crying. Parents were bringing their children to come and see Jesus, God's only son. Well, the disciples did not like this interruption. Jesus was a very important man. And these parents were bringing their noisy children to see Jesus and interrupting his teaching to all the adults. So, some of the disciples went up to the parents and the children. And they, the Bible says, rebuked him. That means they said, uh, 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 why are you bringing your noisy children here? This is very important. Jesus is an important man. You need to take your children. They're crying. They're laughing. They're running. They're making noise. You need to take them away. But... This made Jesus very angry. 
Does he look angry? Mm -hmm. This made Jesus very angry that the disciples were telling the children to go away. Telling the parents to take their children away so that Jesus could teach the adults. Why did this make Jesus angry? Well, here's a verse in the Bible from Psalm 127, verse 3. And it says, look up here. Children are a gift from the Lord. They are a reward from him. So this, tell, this verse tells us that children are a gift from God. They are parents' reward from God himself. So this is from the Bible. Children are a gift from God, it says. So Jesus was angry at the disciples for wanting the children to go away. And this is what Jesus said to the disciples. Let the little children come to me and do not hinder them. Don't stop them. Don't turn them away. Don't make them go home. For the kingdom of God belongs to such as these. Because they're children, that's the last part of that verse, because, for the kingdom of God belongs to such as these. God's kingdom, we must come to God in childlike faith. We must trust in God. We must trust in Jesus, just like a child is very trusting. But the first part of the verse says, let the little children come to me and do not stop them from coming to me. So Jesus was angry that the disciples thought that adults were more important than children and that Jesus wasn't going to have time for these little children. So they were probably very embarrassed. And this is what Jesus did. He stopped teaching the adults and talking to the adults. And he sat down right with the children. And now does he look angry still? No. no. He looks happy. He's with the children. He loves the children. Here's a verse. Look, all eyes up here. Mark 10, 16. This is what he did. Jesus took the children in his arms like held them in his arms or sat them on his lap. He put his hands on them and he blessed them. This verse tells us that Jesus loves children. And the disciples had to learn by getting Jesus getting very angry at them that Jesus loves children just like he loves adults. And Jesus took the time to listen to these children, to hold these children, and to love them because he loved them so much. So maybe this got the disciples to thinking about children, that oh, Jesus loves children and that children are important, not just adults. So maybe this experience and, you know, being yelled at by Jesus, got the disciples thinking, hmm, what has happened before today? Well, Jesus had healed or brought back to life a little boy, a little girl. Hmm, they didn't really think about that before. These are children that Jesus loves. There was another time, the disciples probably were remembering, when Jesus used a little boy to love and care for other people. And so that's what we're going to talk about right now. This was before this happened. So the disciples are remembering this that it happened before. Okay, 
so this is another time when Jesus had crowds and crowds of people around him. Thousands of people around him. Think of like a football stadium and all the people that are all in the stands watching the football game. Those are thousands of people. This is how many people are listening and coming to Jesus. Wanting to ask him questions, wanting him to heal their, their sick people and to help them. So Jesus and his disciples would help and teach many, many, many people. And they were getting very tired. Very, very tired. They hadn't had anything to eat. They hadn't had any rest. So Jesus said to his disciples, come, we're going to go to a spot where these people aren't, and we're going to rest, and we're going to eat there. Well, they went to this spot, but when they, they went and got in a boat, they went across this lake, but when they got on the other side of the lake, people came and crowded all around Jesus and the disciples. Now, I wonder if Jesus said something like, oh, I've been talking and teaching to people all day. I've been healing people. I haven't gotten anything to eat, and I haven't gotten any rest. And you people need to just all go home. We just need to rest right now. Think Jesus said that? No. No, he didn't. The Bible says he had compassion on all these people when he saw them. He loved them. He wanted to help them. So he did not send them all away. So all these people crowded around him, thousands of people crowded around him, and he was teaching them. He was talking to them. He was teaching them uh, about God. And from the Old Testament, he was teaching them God's word. Well, Hours went by of Jesus helping people and teaching people, and it was getting late in the day. And still, they hadn't had anything to eat. Nothing to eat. That whole time, Jesus and his disciples hadn't gotten anything to eat, and all these thousands of people had been there listening to Jesus for hours without anything to eat. Now, here's a problem. Thousands of people, hungry and tired, maybe the, you know, the babies are crying, the toddlers are crying, because everybody's tired and hungry. So Jesus goes to his disciples, and he tells them that they need to go and buy all these people some food. getting late. We need to see all these people are hungry. We need to buy all these people some food. One of the disciples said, uh, uh, it would take eight months of us getting paid doing our job. It would take all that money to give even all of these thousands of people even one bite of bread. Eight months pay. They didn't have that kind of money. But Jesus had a plan. So Jesus told them, go into the crowd and see what they have, what people have. So this is what happened. They found a boy he might have been the age of some of you boys. We don't know exactly how old he was. So one of the disciples' names was Andrew, and he was Peter's brother. So they found this little boy, 